Bush Garden fans leave the big house with a huge victory. The green and white now own their in-state rivals with three wins in a row. I had total confidence in this team. They did it for D'Antonio. Heart attack or blood cop, you can't stop this team, man. MSU fans say they will take full advantage of their bragging rights. This is my first time at the big house. I knew we had it. Saturday's epic battle brought out throngs of fans to the state's biggest tailgate. And as many of us know, this is a showdown that divides friends and families. Go blue. Go Sparty. This is all about trash talk. So if the, the winner gets to kind of give the other one a hard time for the next year, right? Yeah. Yep. And that's going to be me. I get More to housework to and she can no, wash my no, truck no. every week. <laughs> but even bitter rivals can come together over some good barbecue. People have been pretty good, you know. I mean, we got some people who said I had mustard on my shirt. That's a little gold bleeding through, but no, it ain't. Before the game, fans from both sides got quite a surprise. Michigan radio announcers Frank Beckman and Jim Branstetter brought out the Heisman Trophy, but not even the Heisman could distract from Saturday's big matchup. The fan bases are absolutely so totally committed to their program, and I think that's what makes it special, and with both teams unbeaten, with both teams looking as good as they have this year, it kind of takes it to another level. For the fans who couldn't get inside the big house, they camped out outside and made the best of it. Anytime you have a Michigan-Michigan State game, it's great to see. I mean, you got two great teams that are in state rivals. We're having more fun outside the stadium than inside, so it's all Definitely. good. So we head into another year where the Spartans own this rivalry, and the Michigan Wolverines will have to wait, swallow their pride, and hope for better luck next year. Reporting from Ann Arbor, I'm Tom Wade, Channel 7 Action News.